And have you ever yeah. wondered, David, what your head would look like if someone were to recreate it, like, say, Mount Rushmore? <laughs> like, <laughs> great. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, my Castellugia, I honestly think this is a little bit creepy, if we're telling the truth. <laughs> I can't wait to end this segment with your head in my hand. It's going to be awesome. It's sweet and I, creepy. It's, I, I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Uh, we're at the La Jolla Country Day School, uh, where tomorrow's graduation, by the way. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the classes are out. In fact, look at that uh, young lady's shirt right there. Summer Steen, we're going to talk about the summer classes coming up here at uh, La Jolla Country Day. And it's all about uh, math and science. Uh, and, and the way to uh, learn is a little different uh, than the way we used to. Uh, Katie Rast is here. Katie's with Fab Lab and MIT and UCSD and La Jolla Country Day uh, all together because uh, tell us first of all about Summer Steam what, what it's all about and who can come and enjoy these classes. Uh, anyone can come to these classes. You can register for them at ljcds.org forward slash summer school. And we will be doing things that integrate creativity with science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's very project-based, very individualized. Right. Speaking of which, uh, we're talking about 3D printing, which is the, the, the big thing now. I mean, this is 3D printing is actually printing an image in three dimensions. And he, by the way, uh, Alexa, say hi to Katie again. You remember her. She took 9,000 pictures of your head uh, uh, last week in the studio. And there we are. Now, now show us what you did. So what we did is we went in and got a 3D capture with a program called 123D App by taking a lot of photos and they basically get stitched together. And then we loaded them into our MakerWare for our MakerBot, and then we were able to actually 3D print these. So we build them in a positive form by basically laying uh, down layers of plastic with this machine right here. Right, and now, uh, you know, usually people are used to seeing me in a box. Here you go. Uh, it's just, there I am. It's hard, really hard. I tried to take a picture, uh, Alexis and David. It's hard because it's monochromatic. You, you can't really. See, but I'm telling you, that looks like me, the handsome devil. Now, are you ready to see? Uh, it, can you take me out of there? Sure, sure. Okay. Let's get you out of there. Let's let's free you from the box. Thank rocks. you. Okay, there I am. Okay. Okay, that's see. nice. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Maybe <laughs> we'll set you here. Now let me put uh, Alexis's uh, head in my hand. What's that? We made Alexis quite large. We thought she looked really nice. Yeah, of course she's larger than me. Uh, there you go, Alexis. Uh, it took Mike, quite a while to print, right? You know, it took please, almost five hours. Five, five hours. hours to print your head. Wow. Please thank Katie for me, but it is really freaking me out. You've got to bring that home. you got to bring that back weird. to the men's room. We'll put it someplace special. What do you mean? I'm going to put this on the end of my... <laughs> Oh, see, now What's we're frozen that? like that. It's so creepy. I don't even want to look at it. Mike, you're frozen. Are you still there? <laughs> yes. Yeah, there you are. Well, <laughs> good work to Katie, but I, that, yeah. Next time, let's do David's head. That is Aww. great. It's awesome. I know how much you love me. That's yeah. weird. Thanks, Mike. All right. So we're going to, when we come back, we're going to talk about the, the classes here and how these kids are knowing how to do this yeah. incredible science. Incredible. So we'll, it, we will we'll come back. See, wow. that is the last time I volunteered to be a guinea pig. Yeah. Oh, See you later. <laughs> Creepy. Okay, another one. Uh, hey, look at this. We're, we're live in, uh, at La Jolla Country Day, and look, uh, in the 3D printer, uh, we are printing a bracelet. That's one of the students here is going to, let's see, we're at uh, 82%, uh, and there it is. I mean, incredible technology uh, that uh, these kids here are learning from. In fact, uh, they're learning science and, and math uh, being taught by uh, project-based uh, events like this, and uh, Katie Rastis here. Katie, uh, uh, tell us uh, how you are working in conjunction with MIT. In fact, Fab Lab and MIT uh, sending over a, a portable Fab Lab for this uh, this summer, and uh, and kids can get involved in this. Right? Mm -hmm. We're very lucky to be receiving the mobile Fab Lab. It's going to be driving across the country from Boston, and this will have everything that we need to work and create inventions, create designs. Uh, we can work with electronics, laser cutting, CNC milling, um, all essentially within a container that will be parked here on site. So basically this is, you know, when we went to school it was a shop class, right. uh, but this is, this is how it has evolved and, and it basically kids are learning science and math through doing that. 
Exactly. So we really believe that when you can apply your knowledge, you take away a remembrance of what you've experienced. And we find that this works really well with students, both creative students and technical students, anyone in between, anyone who likes to make things. Uh, Todd uh, Lineback is here, the chemistry teacher at the La Jolla Country Day. And uh, Todd, how, I mean, is it, does this even surprise you? Absolutely. I mean, it's amazing to see the kind of transformation that happened at La Jolla Country Day over the years as uh, these design aspect projects integrate art and science in such an amazing way. And to have the 3D printer here, and, and uh, I'm excited to see how that plays out with our robotics team in the fall. Oh, sure. And we'll talk about the robotics team uh, coming up in a little bit with uh, Dr. Susan DeMonico. Hi. Doctor, she's over there. She'll she'll be speaking to us in a little bit, uh, about fifteen or twenty minutes or so. And then the kid, who's uh, whose bracelet that is that going to be uh, in there? Anybody's? Anybody's? Yeah. Okay. We'll put it on. Oh, by the way, uh, Katie, show off uh, her earrings because her earrings are made. From the 3D printer. There they are. Wow, that's pretty cool. How long did those take? Um, these I actually did purchase from a group called Nervous System Online. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But they came from the 3D printer. They came from a powder printer that works in a very similar way to this. All right, very good. Now, quickly, before we leave, uh, this is a, called Summer Steen, the programs here at La Jolla Country Day. Yes, and it's at ljcds.org forward slash summer school. Okay, so anybody could come and uh, take advantage of these classes this summer. Absolutely. Middle schoolers will get to learn electronics, industrial design, and creative computing, computer okay. science. Very good. We'll talk robotics coming up in a little bit, guys. For now, I'll send it back to you. Boy, fascinating. It sure beats our shop class from years gone by, doesn't it? Boy, no kidding. <laughs> yes, indeed. I hated arc welding anyway. <laughs> well, you're good at this, so don't worry about it, Mike. Okay. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> coming up on Good Morning. Live at La Jolla Country Day. Look what just came out of the 3D printer. A bracelet that really stretches and works. Oh, and look at over here. It's a boutonniere of Alexis's head. Hey, that's fashionable also. Uh, the 3D printer is continuing to print jewelry right now. We'll tell you all about it and how you can be involved in it. Coming up, stay with us. Good morning, San Diego continues. Two minutes. out to uh, La Jolla Country Day School. They are um, using 3D imaging. Mm -hmm. And Mike, did you give that poor little girl a boutonniere with my head on it? Because you know I like the word boutonniere. <laughs> yeah, I, that's exactly why I did it. But look just what came out of the printer. Look, another stretchy bracelet. Look, it really, I mean, it really works. It's just uh, unbelievable there. Uh, and uh, this is, by the way, Katie Rast is here. Katie's with uh, Fab Lab. Uh, San Diego, and uh, she's teaming with the UCSD and uh, MIT, who uh, will be sending a, well, kind of a traveling uh, uh, fab lab, really, basically, for the summer here, for the classes, and, uh, and you're going to be teaching science and math this way. Yeah, I'm very excited about teaching here this coming year. We'll actually have it for the whole school year, so we'll have a full fabrication laboratory here on its way from Boston now and we'll be able to integrate this into the learning programs here at La Jolla Country Day. Different than uh, the old shop classes, that's for sure. And it's uh, it can be integrated in all different types of classes. In fact, biology, uh, where uh, you're holding a virus, and uh, so you can actually make something like this and, and teach the kids uh, that way. It's Dr. Susan DeMonico here at uh, La Jolla Country Day. Hi, so one way that we want to try to infuse this into our existing classes, in addition to the electives we'll be um, bringing on, is virus structure. So I always do this every year with a paper origami structure, and what we'll do next year is take the dengue virus um, prototype and load it into the computer. It's basically an icosahedron, Katie has it loaded up on the computer, and um, we'll print out little virus particles so they can understand the symmetry that's so elegant in virus particles in their structure. All right, and other than that, uh, you've got your robotics team here as well, so uh, not only can you make things like that with the 3D printer, but you could also uh, create parts for the, uh, the robots too, right? Absolutely. So one part of the robot design is using the parts that they give you in the kit, and then the second part is uh -oh, creating <laughs> creating new parts. So they always need a, need to accomplish a task that's really different and creative. And this way, instead of that plexiglass piece that we had to cut and glue, perhaps we'll design it in AutoCAD and then print it out on the 3D printer and have it in an all-in-one device. Just terrific. All right. Uh, thanks, you guys, very much for being here. We appreciate the robotics team from La Jolla Country Day. We'll be talking more with them coming up in, oh, a little bit, probably throughout the summer and so forth. Do you like your bracelet? 
Do you like your brace? Do you like that better or the Alexis head boutonniere? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Put it's awesome. Right spot yeah. there. I get that. Okay. She knew better than the, the other way. Yeah, that's quite, right. I think I like the bracelet better myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. All right, from okay. technology now to nature. Yeah, Brandy Williams.